Well, last night I couldn't sleep. I was r tossing and turning, thinking about Printing United. By the way, Mark Square is going to be at Printing United in a few weeks down in Las Vegas. If you're going to be there, email pr at marksquare.com. We'd love to meet up with you, particularly if you're an existing customer, to uh, get more feedback from you. And, of course, new customers as well. We'd love to meet you. But couldn't sleep tossing and turning. So I turned on the YouTube, and I looked at Recommended, and there it was. A nice video from a young lady I'd never heard of. Uh, Design Domination, kind of a cool name. And she had a video, Adobe InDesign versus Affinity Publisher. So that got my attention. But I was still half drowsy, and I'm listening to her. And nice, you know, nice presentation. And all of a sudden, she mentions Marksware and ID Marks. So that woke me right up. And I'll just share that fragment with you, and you can check out the rest over on the link I'll put down below. So let's go check it out. All right, so here's a video. Let's go check it out. So you see here, Design Domination. Wow, 333 three, three subscribers. Well, sorry to ruin that cool number. I'm going to, we're going to subscribe, too. Uh, I got to subscribe with Marksware as well, which was, you know, was really a snipe to mention down there. She even put the link to ID Marks. But anyway, we're just going to play this, play this segment from about four minutes, seven seconds, till about, you know, five minutes. And the rest you can, I'll put a link down below. Very informative. She gets very deep into the details about the intricacies or the differences between InDesign and Affinity Publisher, because there are many. On the other hand, like she says, they're very similar. Or if you ever need to update an InDesign document that you created in the past. Well, first off, you can't open the native InDesign format, the INDD file, in Affinity Publisher right out of the box. You'll need to use ID Marks by Marksware, the same company that created the converter for Quark Express to InDesign files 20 some years ago. And we still had it. Top but seller as well. For 1.8 or later, though, you can open InDesign's IDML format. Now, you can also open a PDF, all or just certain pages. And opening a PDF is different from placing a PDF, which acts like it does in InDesign. But opening a PDF will create a new document with the individual editable pages. And it's super awesome. On that note, Marksware does offer PDF marks as well, in addition to ID marks, which will convert PDFs right into InDesign, not just place them. That's cool with Affinity. You can convert PDFs to InDesign. And then you get all the individual elements, live text, etc. You can't do that in InDesign. But Marksware allows that with PDF marks. And ID marks allows you to take InDesign files and convert them to IDML. You can also take PDF files and convert them to IDML as well. So that's pretty amazing to open it in InDesign. And we have a bundle of both of those called OmniMarks, which will include all of those plus the quirk to InDesign converter she mentioned, which is now called QXP Marks. So you can get all the converters from Marksware, the Marks line as it's called, QXP Marks, PDF Marks, and ID Marks, which is highlighted in the video I'll link below, bundled in the Omni Marks, which is really amazing and cool. And of course, all of those can be super bundled in the flight check, which you can come check out at Printing United or over on marksware.com forward slash products forward slash flight check. Wow, I think I mentioned all the Marksware current products in one short video. Check out her video below. Very Get approved. Get content. Be creative. Marksware.com